IDF forces arrested three Palestinians from Gaza this morning after the trio illegally crossed into Israel from the Strip armed with knives and grenades. The three would-be terrorists made it nearly 20 kilometers over the border to the area of Tse'elim in southern Israel. And here now with more on this alarming infiltration is Dr. Martin Sherman, founder and executive director of the Israel Institute for Strategic Studies. Thanks for joining us. So. How could something like this have happened? I mean, they got, you know, 20 kilometers within Israeli territory. Well, at the micro level, it's, it's, it's clearly a very disturbing incident. And it shows that uh, you can't build on a 100% success rate in patrolling and sealing the border. But, but you know, you can say, well, what could you do? You can increase the number of uh, patrols, ambushes, drones with mm -hmm. night vision, uh, infrared detectors, etc., etc. But, but, but I think it's, it's, a, it's a mistake to look at this incident in isolation. Right. Yeah, I, I'd like to well, say, say three well, things. Yeah, I, I mean, know. I'd like to hear, hear what you're going to say, but I also would like to know if you think that this, particularly ca this particular case has anything to do with the planned uh, Hamas demonstrations that we're going to be seeing over the weekend. Well, well, I don't know for sure, but it's certainly not implausible. Uh, and, and I think the the planned mass marches are far more disturbing than a missed uh, infiltration, which was eventually caught. Mm -hmm. um, but as, again, you know, imagine the same thing if we had relinquished Judea and Samaria to Palestinian rule. There you don't have a 50-kilometer border, there you have a 500-kilometer border, not adjacent to a, a sparsely populated rural area, but adjacent to Israel's most densely populated urban area. So, so that's, that's, that's the one thing. The, the second thing is I think it's, it's a mistake to look at this in terms of a tactical operational sense. You have to look at this in the strategic conceptual sense. And, uh, you, know, you know, because the Palestinians keep changing their modus, uh, modus, vivendi, modus operandi. Uh, first you had uh, attacks with light arms. Then you had suicide bombers. Then you had uh, tunnels and rockets and missiles and knives. They keep changing tactics. And I think this, this, well, this, in, in, uh, this indicates the total collapse of the land for peace concept and the two-state solution. All right. Well, do you think the new um, and obviously very expensive border wall around Gaza um, that is going to be completed in 2019 will, will be able to um, prevent future infiltrations well, it, like it'll this? So, it'll certainly make it much more difficult. But then again, I go back to Jeddah and Samaria. If you have a 50-kilometer uh, border, that's one thing. If you've mm -hmm. got a 500-kilometer border, which you have to close off from tunnels, that's another thing. And, you know, it's supposed to be 40 meters deep. So, so what happens if they d dig a tunnel 42 meters deep? You know, it'll certainly make it harder, but I, do, I don't think it's the ultimate solution. The ultimate yeah. solution is something far more drastic, uh, which I'm sure we don't have time to go into. Well, unfortunately we don't, but thank you so much for joining us, and uh, we will have to wait and see what happens with the future of these infiltrations.